So, first things first, everybody. First things first, we have got to understand what we're trying to do. Again, you do not walk into a chaotic, problematic environment if you don't know what you're trying to fix, what you're trying to find, what you're trying to do. So everybody, what is it that we're trying to do? Give me a quick phrase, be specific, so I know that you know what we're looking for. What is it that we are trying to find in this problem? Length of material B. Length on B, find the length of B. All that, yes, yes, yes. That's appropriate, that's very, very well stated. Keep it simple, keep it short, keep it to the point. Right here, my party people, what is the required length of material B? So we'll say material B equals blank inches. Material B equals blank inches. Cool. So from here, let's read the context because obviously if they say material B, well, we might have material A, right? So let's go ahead and understand the context, understand the information. Remember, the goal is not gonna be, oh, let's just write down the numbers. No, understand what the numbers mean. Okay, guys, understand what the numbers mean. Here we go. This is gonna be from unit, this is gonna be from unit three, unit conversion word problems. This is unit conversion word problems. All right, so step one or step two here, what do we have? Let's read the information. So you need to buy two materials to complete a project. Sounds great. Material A, it costs this much per inch and you require this much of it. The total cost of the materials is this much and this is how much material B costs per inch. So I know that this seems like a lot. I know this can feel overwhelming and I wanna just see who feels the same way. Who here felt like after reading the information, after reading all those numbers, who here felt overwhelmed at this specific point? Like, yeah, I know that I'm looking for material B's length, but th there's so much information that I don't know where to go. Natural, right? It's a natural feeling. It is a completely natural feeling. Now, let me show you how we can simplify this process using things that you already know. Watch this, everybody. Right here, here's something that I know we can all understand. The total cost of the materials is $13.74. My party people, yes or no? Is it true that if we're trying to find the total cost, um, that we can just say, okay, material A plus material B. So basically the cost of material A plus the cost of material B is going to equal that total cost of $13.74. Everyone, is that true? Is that true? In this circumstance, if we're trying to buy things and we have a total and we're dealing with A and B, is it true that material A plus material B equals the total? Great. That's gonna help us keep things simple. We know that this right here is $13.74. However though, how am I supposed to find the cost of material A or material B? Well, remember, we were shown that we have a cost per inch right over here. Let me use this cost per inch and we have this much of it. So how do I find the total cost everybody? Well, if it's 21 cents per inch, multiply it by the number of inches and you got your cost for material A. Same thing for B, but it's gonna be a little different with B, but let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if that makes sense. We can find the cost of material A then subtract it so we can just focus on B. We can find the cost of A so we can just focus on B. Here we go. So to find the cost of A, this is gonna be, let me use a different color, blue is what I was doing. We have 21 cents 
per inch. And we need to multiply this by one foot two inches. My part of equal. What's the problem with that? 21 cents per inch times one foot two inches. What is the problem with that? Right, that's right, Nick. That is correct. Thank you, Nick. Welcome in the class. Yeah, we are not dealing with the appropriate units. It says 21 cents per inch. Do I look like I'm dealing with only inches? No, it's a one foot two inches. So we need to remind ourselves right over here that one foot is the same as 12 inches. So what we're really dealing with everybody is right over here, 14 inches. That is what we are dealing with. So before I continue, are we good? Does that make sense? Again, one foot, two inches is gonna be 14 inches because a foot is 12 inches and we already had those two inches there. So that is gonna give us 14 inches. And now let's go ahead and multiply here. So we'll go ahead and perform this. I can do this right here on the side. So we can say, hey, 14 multiplied by 21 cents per inch. Four times one is four. One times one is one. Bring down that zero to work on the next line. Four times two will be eight. One times two will be two. Add this together and we got four, nine, two. We had two decimal places that we used. So we'll bring two back. So what we have here is gonna be this. Let's move this out of the way. And so this will end up being $2.94. Booyah. Now, why does that help us? Well, watch this, everybody. Watch this. Everybody, we found the cost of material A by taking the cost per inch times the number of inches. Everybody, how would we find the cost of material B? Would it be the same exact way? Finding, hey, the cost per inch times the number of inches, is that the same exact way that we would do it if we had the numbers? If we had the numbers, would that be the same way? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So what we can say is, hey, material B right over here, material B, is 120 per inch. So we can say 120 per inch times the number of inches. Now, I don't know what that's gonna be, what the number of inches is, but I know that that's how I'm gonna get it done. So how do I figure this out? Treat this like an equation. I'm gonna rewrite this and it's gonna make a little more sense. We have 2.94 plus 1.2 times X equals 13.74. This is the pure math way of looking at it. But what you're saying is, hey, the cost of material A plus the cost of material B equals the total cost. And now that we have this, we can solve this. Everyone, what's our first step gonna be? What's our first step gonna be? Right, we'll subtract the 2.94 on both sides. Booyah, so that's gonna cancel here on the left. And so what we'll have on the right side, 1.2x equals. So if you're having a little bit of uh, some doubts um, in terms of, hey, how do I subtract 294 from this? You could just subtract $3 and then add the six cents back. Because if you subtract $3, you subtracted six cents more than what you should have. So you can just add the six cents back. So. Hey, subtract $3, that's 1074. Add the six cents back, that's $10.80. Makes it a little easier. Makes things just a little easier. And yes, that's right, Nick. The last step that we're gonna do here is gonna be to divide both sides by the 1.2, and we are now finally set. Divide by 1.2 on both sides. Booyah right there. And so what's that gonna give us? Well, we can do that over here on the side. So basically what we're doing here is I don't want to divide by a decimal. I don't want to divide by 1.2. You can actually cheat a little bit by moving the decimal over to the right on both of them. So what I'm saying is 
10.8 divided by 1.2 is the same as 108 divided by 12. It's the same thing. With practice, this is something that you'll see clearly and you'll be able to apply fairly quickly. But my part of people, does that make sense? Uh -huh. 10.8 divided by 1.2, same thing as 108 divided by 12. Great, what's the answer gonna be? What's the answer gonna be? That's right, that's gonna be nine. So it's gonna be nine inches right there and boom we are set that's going to be a as always my party people thank you for watching our videos we really appreciate you guys and as always if you haven't heard we do host free classes once a week right here on youtube so go ahead make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to know the exact details when any classes you can go to our schedule page and on top of that you can get the links for the next classes by texting 833 321 asking about it I got your back, my party people. Let's ace the ASVAB.